Hi, my name is Bogdan Rasiborski. I'm a program manager on the consumer storage team in Windows. I'm also responsible for consumer data protection. And today, I'm really excited to introduce file history, the cool new backup feature in Windows 8. As you all know, we store tons of personal files on our PCs. But somehow, most of us neglect the fact that we can lose those files when a hard drive fails, PC crashes, breaks, or gets stolen. Many people that I talked to were discouraged by the complexity of existing backup products and the time they would have to spend setting it up. In Windows 8, we're fixing those problems and making it much, much easier. Today, I will show you what we have done to make it much simpler and easier to protect your personal files. File history was designed to address these limitations and make it so easy that anyone should have no problems using it. We also changed our approach to data protection to adapt it better to our modern mobile lifestyles. To make it easy to find, we added a new ribbon button in the Windows Explorer specifically for file history. If the feature wasn't yet enabled and you click or touch the history button, you will see this window. It will tell you that you have to turn file history on first. So let's do it. The provided link launches the file history control panel applet. Here I can select an external hard drive, USB stick or a network attached storage device. I have with me a USB 3.0 3 quarter of a terabyte external drive. It's a perfect match for file history. USB 3.0 is natively supported by Windows 8 and offers great performance and 3 quarter of a terabyte of storage should be enough for my needs. I will connect my drive and refresh the control panel. As you can see, the drive was automatically selected. File history automatically selects the most appropriate drive with the largest amount of free space. If that's not what you need, you can always select another drive or a network location. Personally, I prefer network attached storage as a storage target for file history. It can be easily shared, eliminates the cable clutter and the need to physically attach a drive. OK, my drive was connected and discovered. All I have to do now is to press the turn on button. From now on, file history will be checking my libraries every hour for any files that have changed. If it finds any, it will copy them to the drive I just selected. Now I'll modify some files to show how file history picks up changes and how easy it is to find and restore those files. Now that we have some versions of my files backed up, let me show you how easy it is to find and restore these versions. I will open the Explorer again, select my pictures library and click on the history button. As you can see, I have two versions of my pictures library. I need to restore one specific picture, so I will browse to this location. Note that if you cannot find the file or don't remember its location, you can always use search. The picture I was looking for was modified twice, but I want to restore the original, so I scroll through versions to the oldest one. That's the picture I need, so now I can click Restore. As you can see, the original version of the picture was restored to its original location. In this demo, I showed you how to set up file history and how to use it when you need to restore a specific version of a file, folder, entire library, or entire PC. I hope you will find Windows with file history easy to use and valuable. Give it a try.